So, this is me. My hands are dirty and I want to go and wash them. Except, if I hit the light switch, then it would be super hard to clean up. And it is starting to get really annoying. So, to fix the problem, I'm going to be using some Lego Technic, which I got a lot here to fix that problem. And the way we're gonna do it is to use the existing switch and make a Lego add-on to it, then add some motors, spy cub, and the distance sensor to do it. But I'm gonna explain all the details later. So, first thing we need are these. So this is the frame on the light switch that I just showed you guys. And we're gonna use this as a guide to build a frame around the frame. Then we can use the Lego frame and build the stuff on it. But first, we need to go and build a frame exactly fits this and we'll hold on to this and not fall off. So right now, I'm putting on the frame for the frame for the light switch, as you can see. And I am putting on the distance sensor and thinking of how I can put on the motor. But I basically did everything off camera because it's easier for me. And I did experiment with this triangle thing. But I let her actually change it to what you'll see later on. All right, so this is our final product. I mean, I didn't do any testing like with the programming. I haven't started it. So this next thing we're gonna do is programming. So here's how everything worked. So first thing on the left side, this is the wall. And then this is the guy. And then when you walk through, the distance will change. And when it changed, um, it knows that somebody has walked through. It's gonna add a variable that means uh, there are zero and one. The one means somebody's in there. And then when it detects again, it's going to minus one. So it's zero. That means there's nobody in there. So this is gonna be super useful later on. Now everything is powered by the spike. And this will be our light switch. In the middle, uh, this is just a cage for the light switch. And then in the middle, there's the switch itself. This motor will do like you know, be a motor and it's going to turn these two dial things. These two is going to hit on different sides of the switch and it is going to, you know, turn on and turn off the light switch. All right, so another update, I finished the programming and um, fi uh, fixed a few bugs and before I put it on the wall, I need to stick, on, uh, stick this thing on. But I don't want to use some screws because there will be holes in the wall. So I'm gonna use the tape and stick on there. And I also did some testing like with me holding it. And by the way, these two buttons, I have made these things that will write what these does. All right, so I finished it. As you can see here, mounted on the wall. Now I'm gonna show you how you can operate this thing. Starting off, we start this program hitting the green button. It's going to turn blue and also it would show ready on the top. Then we hit reset. It's going to reset the distance and, you know, just reset the distance. Then hit start. It is going to start the turning on and off program. So it is now ready for you to walk through the door and it is going to turn on the light automatically. So let me show it to you guys. So, because the distance sensor on the outside senses the, the difference in the distance, it is going to turn on by the motor on the side, as you can see. Now, with no hands, both of my hands are up, and I can walk through the door, and it's going to close it. So, it's super useful, especially when my hands are full. Like, if I hold these stuff, my hands are full and I'm stupid and don't know that I can just hold both things in one hand. Now, with the help of that, it can really just do it on your own. That was not a bug at all. It definitely was perfect to do that.